All right, we gotta go fast. Number six, not knowing your numbers. Ah. Let me tell you three statements I think you should be reviewing every single month. Number one is a profit and loss. Now, that's just like a basic, pull it out of QuickBooks, income, expenses, profit and loss. I don't care how big your company is or how small your company is, you should be reviewing this every month. And a good way to measure how tight you are is how fast do you close out your accounting cycle each month. Not your trust accounting cycle, your business accounting cycle. Do you close it out quickly? Are you a week behind? Are you months behind? You gotta get that tight. My favorite day of the month used to always be the first day of the month. It was. Because that was the day I could balance our internal company checkbook and see how much money we made. Now I know I'm weird, I'm very weird that way. But you gotta close these things out quickly. You need to review that every month. Number two, this is what we call it. We call it a CEO dashboard. This is a place where we pull data from all over the company and we put it onto a spreadsheet. All sorts of data. So for example, it's gonna have things like this. It's gonna calculate our profit margin. Our percentage of income spent on payroll. How many doors do we add that month? How many doors do we lose? What's our profit per door? How many team members do we have per door? How many applications do we receive? How many move outs, leases signed? Tons of stuff, right? Now, the beautiful thing about this isn't that it's not just a snapshot, but what we're really looking for on this is we're looking for trends. Because it's gonna be in a spreadsheet with one month, and then the next month, and then the next month, and the next month. So I can see now, uh-oh, we're getting less and less lease assigned for the last four months. Is that a trend? What's going on? Or, oh, good, our leasing fees are going up every month. This is important. You need to have a, a doc like this, and it doesn't need to be rocket science, but that you're pulling this stuff regularly. This third thing that we look at on a monthly basis is what we call our, our PE, or our performance evaluation sheet. Every team member within their position fills out once a month a PE sheet, a performance evaluation, and it is role specific. Remember I talked about position specific system manuals? So our PE sheet is specific to that role. And it's gonna have a laundry list of questions for things that we're trying to measure, metrics. And they're gonna check it red or green, and they're gonna go over it with, with their boss. I have a PE sheet for the president that I fill out every month for me. It lets me know how I'm doing. So I'm responsible for some financial things. Gotta make sure we're growing, we're getting new accounts, so I can determine how I'm doing. And, and by the way, if you want that, I'll, I'll be happy to share that with you.